What is going on guys, GBJ here with another Dinkum Quick Guide. Today, I'm going to be teaching you lovely people how to install mods. Before I get into that though, this game is in early access. A lot of these mods are in beta. You need to back up your save or you will lose everything. You can lose everything and people have lost everything. Let's hop straight into this. You're going to want to browse to your uh, C drive. Once you're at your C drive, you're going to head down to users. Find the user that you're using. I'm Mitch Williams. I'm going to pick Mitch Williams. You're going to need to click app data. If you can't find app data in the top right or top left hand corner, click view and then check hidden items and you'll be able to see the app data folder. From there, we click local low. Navigate to James Benden. Copy the Dinkum folder. And then, I don't know, we can just, you know, paste it right here on the desktop. All right, going to place these files. And boom, you've backed up your save. Let's hop into the installation of mods. So the mod we're going to be installing for this guide is the Craft from Storage. It's a mod that's in beta made by the Tiny Resort team. Just going to hop straight in and we're going to navigate to the files section. I'm going to click manual download on the most recent Craft from Storage. And you'll see you get this little prompt that shows up and you need to have Bepin X6 installed. So we're going to click this. And scroll down to the most recent build. It needs to have Unity Mono and X64 in there. You want to go ahead and click this. Drop it straight into our downloads folder. All right. And before we click download on this, we're going to need to open up our Steam library. Right click, Dinkum, go to properties, click local files, browse the Dinkum folder. All right, and I'm just going to like, just kind of drag this over here. Uh, we're going to open up our downloads or wherever we pulled it. You can eliminate this whole process by simply downloading the Bepinex file uh, folder into uh, the Dinkum folder through, you know, the process we just used in Steam. And we're just simply going to extract this right here. We need to do next is open up Dinkum. Opening up Dinkum after putting the Bepin X6 into our uh, Dinkum folder populates the files that we, or populates the folder, sorry, that we need to get the mods installed. So I'm going to click back over here real quick. And you can see you got the plugins folder, all of that in there. That wouldn't be in there if you didn't open up the game. And we're going to download the mod now. I'm going to slow download it. And this time, uh, we're just going to, yeah, just, just drop it in the same place, honestly. We're going to go back to our Dinkum folder, and we're going to click Bepin X. Use that populated plugins folder, double-click it. And I'm just going to, oops, sorry. I'm just going to drag and drop the craft from storage in there, and we're just going to extract it right in there. So we're back in the game. You can see there's not much in our inventory. But if we head over to our crafting table, we got a variety of things we can craft. That means that we did our mod correctly. That's been another GBJ quick guide. Subscribe if this guide helped you. Take care of yourselves and be well.